Let's take a quick look at subduction zones. So what is a subduction zone? Well, it is simply a type of convergent plate boundary that we see on the surface of the Earth in different regions. Convergent means that it's an area where two slabs of the Earth's crust, or lithosphere, are colliding with one another, coming together. What makes a subduction zone unique, though, is that on one side of the boundary, we see a particular type of lithosphere or crust, which is called oceanic crust. What's special about oceanic crust is that it is a thinner region of solid rock, and it tends to be composed primarily of the igneous rock basalt. Basalt is a highly dense and heavy material. On the other side of the subduction zone boundary, we see a different type of crust, called continental crust, which is much thicker and tends to be composed of the igneous rock granite, which is lighter and less dense than basalt. So when these two slabs of lithosphere come together, driven by strong convection currents in the mantle beneath, one plate is thrust underneath the other, and the plate that always subducts or sinks is going to be the one that is more dense, which in this case is our oceanic basalt. So you can see the subducting plate in this diagram. But what we need to know about is what will happen above the plate boundary on the surface of the Earth. Because of this subduction, that continental crust is going to crumple upwards, forming jagged, tall mountains with active volcanoes. They're also prone to earthquakes in this region, as well as features like offshore deep-sea trenches where the two plates actually meet one another. Subduction zones are some of the most active plate boundaries we see on Earth, often characterized by extensive volcanic and seismic activity and jagged surface features.